Hey guys, it's Jen. How are you? Welcome to my home. Um, you know, this recipe is special to me because it was one of the first recipes I made from start to finish that helped me get over my fear of cooking. I think it can be intimidating in the kitchen, especially if you're not the only one eating your food. <laughs> it's one thing if you burn your dinner, but when somebody's coming to eat when they're hungry, it's kind of scary. So slow cooker meatballs were my savior and they may just be yours too. And the key ingredient today being my Laura's Lean 93% Lean Ground Turkey. Keep in mind that whatever goes into the meat that you eat also goes into you. So here at Laura's Lane, there's never any antibiotics, hormones, or any additives that are put into this that would alter it in any way, um, which is critically important. So that being said, let's get to it. What we're gonna start with is the actual meatballs. Now, this is a slow cooker recipe, so the meatballs will take six to seven hours to cook. You're gonna take the turkey. I'm gonna just toss this right in. Thank you, Laura's Lane. Also included in this is going to be our onion, garlic, panko, and egg, okay? So with mincing, frankly, all I like to do in the beginning is really slice into it, maybe quarter inch slices, and then as I get through the whole thing, I square it, and then I start to mince and chuck it in. Really, the Parmesan is a benefit because it's really low in fat, but it's high in flavor. So, pretty gorgeous. I realize this is a little more than a quarter cup, but we're gonna still party. Okay, onion goes in. On top of that, I also promised you an egg. So what the egg's gonna help us do is bind those meatballs together. Tomato paste, we've measured it out. The salt and pepper, I have measured out, but you can always layer in more to taste, so always feel free to do that. All these are in here, and I, all I want you to do is work it in together. Panko crumbs are gonna go in as well. I think the only other thing I'm missing is my garlic still. So I cut my cloves in half, I've got one. I take some of that extra shelling off. It's, it's, it's great though. If anything, it's just a little fiber. It's not gonna hurt anybody. All we need is about 13 to 14 ounces of marinara sauce. So what I want you to do is just put a little bit on the bottom of your slow cooker. Now we just formulate with our hands these little meatballs. I usually go just a little bit larger than golf ball size. Uh, frankly, if you've got kids at home, this is a great job for your kids. They will love, love, love getting a little dirty, helping mom or dad cook, get things going. It's a blast. I just want you to take a little bit more marinara sauce and just pour it over the top of these meatballs. If you don't put enough in, you can always add more. But if you dump too much in or too much salt or too much of something, you're stuck with it. So always know that you can add, so don't feel pressure. So here we are, that's it. It's in, it's ready to go. Your meatballs are ready to cook. I'm gonna plug this into the wall and about six to six and a half hours later, it's gonna be ready. So here we are with my part B of my slow cooker turkey meatballs. Um, chips, but healthy ones. So my turkey meatballs have been cooking for about five and a half, six hours. I know they're close to ready. And this is gonna take about 20 to 25 minutes to bake. So I preheated my oven to 400 degrees. And what I've got is a pan and a sweet potato and just like a, a lot of excitement. So all I want you to do is go through. I go about a quarter inch in width all the way through the back. A Little bit of olive oil, vegetable spray, salt and garlic powder because let's be serious, everything's better with garlic. I lightly spray the bottom. We don't want to overdo it because the whole point of making it more chip-like is you want them to kind of roast and crust up. If they remain soggy, um, it's probably not going to work out too well. So what I want to do is I'm going to throw them all on the pan. I do not want these to overlap. I want them to have their own space. You know what I mean? Like we're, we're, we're kind neighbors. We're not bugging anybody. We're not asking for coffee when they're not welcome. I want a hit of salt on all of them. Hit it with a little garlic butter, and we're done. We pop them in. I always put them on the top shelf. I set my clock for 20 minutes first because that's gonna give me a chance to kind of check in on them, see what's going on. Uh, and sometimes if I want them a little more brown those last five minutes, I'll put the boiler on. So uh, stay tuned, see you in 20 minutes. These sweet potato chips are almost done. I cheated a little and put the broiler on for about three minutes at the end to give them a nice brown, toasty look at the bottom. And we are literally three, two, one. Let me peek in. 
Ah, literally perfect. You got a nice brown. They feel really good. Look at this, we've got wonderful browning on that turkey meat. The sauce is coming. If you were here, you could smell it. It's wonderful. You've got the cheeses, the seasoning, everything coming together. So I'm just gonna take a couple, place it on my plate. So here we are. I'm gonna steal one more. <laughs> mm. Perfect excuse to not be afraid of cooking anymore, okay? We've got quality protein from Laura's Lean. By the way, go to laurasleen.com, use their store locator, don't choke on your potato. I'm buying a location that has the meat. And by the way, I'm looking at an opportunity for you to see that no matter how big your household is, whether it's just one and a bulldog, or you have a family of five, this is very family friendly, very uh, user friendly for using a gun. It's healthy, it's easy, it's you. Good luck.